Hey everybody, Mr. McKay again. Um, so here's the second video I wanted you to watch. This is more focused on uh, what you need to do to complete the tasks for your competency this week and uh, week three of our food systems unit. So um, you've already kind of heard about this a little bit in, in the first video, but uh, let's get into some of the specifics. So to complete your competency this week, I'm asking you to do two things, okay? You're going to be, everybody needs to complete the nutrition label for a favorite recipe. But I'm going to explain all of that to you in the next few slides. Then you get to choose one of these three items, okay? First one is create a menu description for your favorite recipe. Second one is create a video of you explaining how you would cook the recipe. So kind of like a video show blog. And the last one's kind of unique. It's a thank you letter to a person in your life that once cooked you a meal that you've never forgotten. So I'm, I'll give you all the details on all of these. Um, though, what you need to keep in mind is uh, they're due Sunday night. And, you know, because there's a little bit more work here at the back end of the week for the competency, like I said, we're not asking you to do anything on Monday other than watch these videos, okay? So uh, once you kind of get uh, today under your belt and you've watched everything, you got to start thinking about what is that favorite food or recipe that I'm going to use um, and then get started during the week. So we'll be there with you all along to help you. Um, but let me walk you through some of the details of these. Okay, so first, for this nutrition label for a favorite recipe, okay? Um, really, this is one of the, the central focuses of the unit. We've taught you in the first few weeks about where food comes from, nutritional information. Now we want you to kind of apply that to a favorite food or recipe that you have. And I, uh, we chose this because, like I said, we want this to be something that's fun for you. And we know that we're all the same way. If we're talking about something that we love, we can be great. We can really explain things. We can be creative. And that's what we're looking for from you here. So this can be a food that uh, you've had only once, or it can be something that you've had every week all your life. Um, now, also, again, this isn't meant to be something you can't complete. So if you hear that and you kind of go, well, I'm not actually sure, you know, I'm not, maybe, I, maybe a Big Mac from McDonald's is my favorite food. Hey, it's okay, whatever, okay? You're gonna pick something and you're gonna go with it. Now, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna direct you to a website, and the link's down here, but I'll show you in other places. The website's called Very Well Fit, and they've got a really simple uh, device that you can use on the webpage to put your recipe ingredients in, and it will spit out a nutritional label for you for your recipe. So you're gonna do that. Um, and then we're gonna ask you to look at your recipe, use your knowledge about some of the ingredients that may not be all that nutritious for you. Maybe it's a really high fat cheese, for example. Well, can we change that item in the recipe, um, make it something healthier? You're gonna do that and then you're gonna spit out a second nutrition label that basically says, ah, here's what happens when you change that ingredient. So it's gonna give us a way to look at, as we change things, what happens to the nutritional content. So really simple, but very useful. Okay, uh, in the end, I'm gonna give you a template of Google Slides that you can use to drop all of your info in. Okay, and I'll show you that in a second. Well, actually, let me show you right now. So hold on, let me drop out of here really quick. Let's do this. Um, let me show you, here are the Google Slides, and this is in PowerSchool, so the link is there. Um, I want you to open this up, save a copy to your Google um, Drive, and then you can play with it any way you want. So title, you know, your title. I wrote here something like nutritional information of a pineapple upside down cake. Whatever. Put your title in, put your name and date on here. Then let me walk you through the slides. What is your favorite recipe? Describe it to us. Maybe show us a picture. I, so I have a recipe here that is something I've made a million times at my house. I love it. Um, I don't know when I found this. I actually did find this out of a magazine like 10 years ago, Sunset Magazine. Mediterranean rice salad. It's just flavors that I love. Um, so I found the recipe online. You can find something online if you don't have one at home or a friend. Um, Here's how you make it. Here's the ingredient list. Here's a picture. So when we come back to this slide here where it says my favorite recipe, hey, look, start, just put things in. I'm gonna go ahead, 
I'm going to copy this image of this picture of the, the bowl here. I'm going to go back to the slide and I'm going to drop it in. So now I've got this picture on my slide that I can have. That really helps people see it. Again, you guys have seen this. I mean, uh, every magazine you open, every commercial you see, this is, you're getting to play that person now creating this. You know, put a description right here about what is the food, why do you love it so much? Now the next slide is the recipe detail. So again, I can come back here, I can come over here. Here's my ingredient list already copied. Copy that, come back over here. Oops, there it goes. Might have to do some work shifting it around a bit, but you get the idea. So I can bring my ingredients over here, um, play with it a little bit, bring over, how do you make it? So give me the recipe details. What's it gonna be? Okay, now here I'm asking you for the nutritional label, okay? So let, let me go to the PowerSchool page really quickly. Here's, here's our page. Now, here's our food unit description. We were in week three. Remember, you got lecture you're gonna go to on Monday, discussion on Wednesday. Down here, unit two competency. So you're gonna come in here, and I've started dumping all this stuff in here for you. Here's that template deck of slides we were just looking at, so you can come here and grab it. Down at the bottom is the web link for this website, Very Well Fit. That's the name of the website. And when you go there, they've just got this really easy to use recipe nutrition calculator. So it's right here. I encourage you to look at this website. There's all kinds of really cool stuff. But right now you're focused here on the recipe nutrition calculator. And this is it. You're gonna put your ingredients in this box. So let's see, do I still have my ingredients copied? I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna drop my ingredients in. The only other thing you've gotta give it is a serving size. Now, sometimes this is tough. Like I wouldn't even know how many servings is in here because like I eat the whole bowl, so that's bad. But just pick a number that seems reasonable to you. I'll say eight and then say analyze recipe and it spits out a nutrition calculator, a nutrition label for your dish. I put in eight servings. Here's the calories per serving. We've got all the, the things we're interested in, fat, cholesterol. You guys know you studied this last week. So this is great. I can take a screenshot of this and go back and drop it on my slide. I think, let's see, uh, Command Shift 4. Yeah, so I'm using a, a MacBook. Command Shift 4 lets me do the clip and cut. Um, or let's see, I don't want this to take too long. So you get the idea. Um, Here's my clip. I'm going to go ahead and come back over here. I'm going to drop this. Let me get out of the way for a second. I'm going to drop this on my slide. Okay. So here's the nutritional label. Then remember what we asked you to do was ingredients you wanted to change. So you're going to look at your recipe and say, hey, what if I change something here? How does it change the recipe? You know, this one isn't a real bad recipe. It's pretty healthy, but there's things like, you know, feta cheese. Feta cheese adds a lot of calories. It adds a lot of taste, but comes a lot of calories. So maybe you want to change this to something else. So you can get rid of this, make yourself a new nutrition label, and then come back over here, and we're going to drop that in on the next slide. So here's the second nutrition label for the new recipe. And then lastly, all I'm asking you to do is answer some questions. You know, what were the changes you saw in nutrition when you changed the ingredients? Why did that happen? What are the things about that ingredient that caused that change? You guys have enough background knowledge, you should be able to do this. You know, what do you think about the taste of your recipe now? Is it gonna be horrible? You know, that's, that's why sometimes they don't make those changes because nobody's gonna eat it. Give me any other conclusions. So look, this is something I want everybody to do. It's kind of a, a you know, this is a culminating summary of all three weeks. This takes all the stuff you learned from Mr. Bonine and Ms. Speck, puts it together on a recipe that you're choosing, okay? You're just gonna share this deck with me and you know we'll give you a grade. But we're not, this isn't so much about the particulars, it's about your effort, okay? So uh, just have fun with it. All right, let me wrap this up really quick and go back to um, the last few slides. Um, 
So that was the one that everybody has to do. Now let me walk through the three that you have a choice of choosing one of these. A menu description for your favorite recipe. So look, I'm thinking just when you go into a restaurant and open up a menu, you see the description for the dishes. I just want you to build something like that for your food or recipe, okay? You can do it on Google Slides. You can do it on anything you want. I don't care. But here's the things I want you to include, a picture of the food, description, nutritional content, price. And, you know, I, if you're thinking about, well, I don't really know what you mean, Mr. McKay. What does that look like? I just opened up the, here's the Olive Garden online menu, clicked on cheese ravioli. Again, this is, this is an online menu, so it doesn't look like the one we often hold in our hand. But you get the idea. Title picture okay cost some nutritional information a description that makes you want to order it you guys know how to do it so make one of these for your food that's it okay so it's not really complicated <clears throat> um you're gonna share that to us however you make it the second one was the video blog of you making your favorite food Okay, so I'm asking you to make a video. We're going to create a Flipgrid link that you can drop the video onto to show it to us. But this is just meant for you to have fun. You guys have all seen cooking videos. Okay, you've all laughed at them and thought, man, if I made one of those, I'd do this. I want you to do that. I want you to have fun. Um, I don't need you to actually make your food. I'm not trying to make you go out and spend money and buy lots of ingredients. If you want to make it, great. If you want to fake it, fake it. Okay, but use your recipe and tell us how you would make it. What would you do? Okay, like I said, I'm looking for it to be at least three minutes. So you can't just go on there and say, I love this food and that's that. Put a little effort into it. Okay, have fun with it. The third option was kind of unique and it's this one. Uh, sorry, let me put it back in presenter mode. Um, the third one was write a thank you letter. Okay, so these are for folks that maybe are more interested in creative writing. And what I'm looking for is, Write a thank you letter to somebody that once made you a meal that you always remember. You think about that like, man, that was the best thing I ever ate. I want you to write them, thank them, you know, write enough in the letter that makes us feel like we were there with you. You know, tell us about the people that were there, the smells, the, what would the food look like? Tell us all about it. So you're kind of writing in the form of a thank you letter. And again, I give you the flexibility that if you really want to go creative and have fun, you could have a fictional character. This can be made up. Okay, again, I'm looking for your effort and creativity. So if you wanna say, hey, I went and had dinner with Michelle and Barack and uh, Michelle made a crazy great lasagna. It was all full of vegetables and um, tell us about it, have fun, okay? Um, so it can be really anything you want. Looking for a minimum of 500 words. That's about one page, so it don't, doesn't have to be super long or crazy. Okay, so that's it. Um, you've got two tasks by Sunday night. All of us are here for you all week. We have office hours on Tuesday and Thursday. Um, you can contact us anytime. We will always help you. This is meant to be fun. This is your last activity. So it needs to be done really by, you know, I want you to be done by Sunday night because Monday you're tuning into your next science unit. Okay. So I don't want this stuff hanging on next week. So try to spend the week I'm giving you this week to get it done. And uh, yeah, this will be a fun way to wrap up our unit. Okay, so that's the end of the video and uh, we'll see you soon.